Kia ora everybody, Chris Bahi here. Hope you're going awesome. So we've got something pretty cool today. We're back up at 6 to 8 Munro Lane for a walk around. The team at Centuria has invited us up. Building's nearly complete, so let's get into it. Hey team, so we've got Stephen Brown Thomas from Centuria. He's going to help us for a walk around today. Um, mate, what do, you, what do you do on this project? Ah, what do we do? Look, um, we stitched this deal together back in 2019. Uh, Auckland Council came out with a mandate for a new northwest office hub. We purchased this land and um, we saw an opportunity here, not just for uh, council, but um, other, other commercial opportunity as well. So yeah, look, we, we put that deal together um, with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Council I was, on I was the part other of team, on the council team. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, uh, it was good. It was a good collaborative process. Um, and yeah, we basically designed the building inside out to make it as efficient as possible for kind of modern workplace. And yeah, um, yeah look, uh, really high spec building. It's basically CBD grade stock, but here on the North Shore, five star Green Star rating, five star Neighbours rating. Yeah, look, we've, we've built it through COVID. We obviously had a few challenges with government mandated lockdowns. Um, Pretty crazy um, timing on this project in particular, right? Because the deal was done end of 2019. Correct. And then it's like a couple of months later, eh, boom, COVID. E exactly. So, yeah, we uh, we literally launched an equity raise the week before lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> um, Everyone else yeah. was scrapping around for toilet paper. Meanwhile, you guys had to deliver this. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, all, all things considered on base build, we're only three months behind schedule. And I think we basically had three or four months with a lockdown in Auckland. So, we're, we're pretty happy with where we ended up. Yeah. Oh, but awesome. it's, it's come together really well. And, yeah, the Icon team have done a great job and, and the design team are great. Great job yeah. as well. Shout so out icons, really big um, supporters of the vlog. So yeah. yeah, well that sounds cool. Shall we have a walk around? Absolutely. Let's yeah. go for it. Up to you. The um the scale when you're on site <laughs> pretty is pretty crazy. amazing, eh? Yeah. yeah. So the um one of the attractions we had for the site was this public laneway um, to the west which basically means that with the other three street frontages we've effect effectively got four elevations that can never be built out. Yeah, um, it's so quite, almost like an island. Basically um, an island out, out here, so you've got the benefit of that natural light to, to all elevations. So as part of our design, we've um, hopefully you can see it, but we've got our end of trip facilities and bike storage access directly off this public laneway. Yep. So you can bike straight into work, swipe your card, store your bike in there. We've got electronic chargers in there as well, charging points. Yep. And then as we get in there, you're basically straight into the end of trip facilities for showers, lockers, um, and they're basically you know hotel grade, fully tiled, really nice space. Really user friendly, accessible. Pretty good trying setup. To, trying to promote that end of trip and you know that, that well-being and obviously you know sustainable and carbon neutral forms of transport to get to work. One of the elements from the early design, particularly with um, council, is the anchor tenant, was the mana whenua design and how that sort of came through the building. Yep. And I remember one of the aspects of that was the east-west link um, across the, the sort of topography, um, but then also some of the design influences around trims and that, that yep. type of stuff. So yeah, part of, part of the agreement with council is that we would integrate te and design principles in, into the building, and that obviously involved a um, investigation into the historic narrative of the site from Iwi's perspective. So yeah, there's a nearby creek called Lucas Creek, which is basically a portage from coast to coast for food gathering between the different seasons. Uh, so obviously kai moana, seafood um, from the ocean, uh, and then more inland uh, cropping, obviously kumara, etc. Um, so that uh, Portage uh, was here reflected in the design in terms of this public uh, ground floor laneway uh, mm. bridging east and west and making that a common space and thoroughfare and kind of a meeting point and key hub of the development where you know people would meet, ideas would happen, uh, Kai would be shared, etc. So yeah, that's manifested in terms of the design. So this yep. is level six, just over 2,700 square meters of NLA. Uh, yeah, fully open plan. Yep. Um, so yeah, we've got a southern core here with a goods lift and um, steer, egress steer. We've also got provision, you can see a couple of stubs here for a future toilet block. Yep. Uh, so we've got one at the north and one at the south. Uh, we've got this fantastic atrium, and as you can see, fantastic natural light from yeah, all four elevations, as I said earlier. We're effectively four street frontages that you, you can't be built out, so you're always going to have that vantage point and, and natural light. So the golden rule is eight metres of natural daylight penetration. Yep. Uh, so between the two, we've, we've got a more than covered. Be, um 
Yes, yeah, so you've got the atrium plus the exterior windows. Correct. You've got daylight kind of everywhere. Yep, so every spot is hit with, with natural light. And so up on level six, you also get the terrace, which is exciting. It's pretty cool. Deck this out with some umbrellas. Exactly. Maybe yeah. a barbecue. Yeah, um, you get a sense of the view out here. Now, um, to, to be fair, this isn't farmland, <laughs> but um, it will take a very, very long time to develop out. Um, you can see the busway over there as well. So literally, what's that like? Two to three blocks walk. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Stephen, thanks so much for taking us around today. Really hey, appreciate it. Um, with that said, we'll see you guys next time. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Tim.